Now, before I get a bunch of nasty comments saying, But Bonanza, how could you say there's only good things about player chat reporting? What about all the bad things about them? I thought this feature was terrible. How dare you even suggest that there are good things about it? Before you say all of that, at the same time I'm uploading this video, I've also uploaded a video called Everything Bad About Player Chat Reporting. So, before you start blasting your opinions at me in chat, be sure to go watch that one, and then you can start giving me your opinions, okay? So, now that that is all cleared up, let's actually get into the video and start talking about player chat reporting, the most controversial feature in Minecraft since 1.9 PvP. Now, I think the first thing that needs to be said as far as good things from player chat reporting is that I think Microsoft means well with this feature. Now, you could feel free to disagree with me in the comment section, but I know a lot of people are saying this is only because Microsoft wants to spy on us, Microsoft wants to oppress us, this is you know, freedom of speech, all that good stuff. Um, but hear me out. I think this is only a public relations thing as far as Microsoft goes. I do believe that Microsoft told Mojang that this feature should be added. And I do believe that Microsoft would love to spy on us. But I also think that this is not about Microsoft spying on us. This is about parents complaining that their kids have been exposed to inappropriate content or have been abused on Minecraft. And Minecraft is a kid's game and therefore... And yes, I know the Minecraft is a kid's game is all of a sudden a controversial statement nowadays, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, I just want to say, I believe the only reason this is being added in the first place is because of parents complaining and because Mojang, I mean, not Mojang, but Microsoft wants to have uh, better public relations and make more people happy. So I think this is not up to Mojang, so don't be mad at Mojang for this. This is Microsoft's idea and they have told Mojang this because of people complaining because of public relations because they want this to be a e-rated game um, for everyone to use and the other i think reason that you couldn't say that they're doing this to spy on us is because in the change logs there's nothing about them having access to every single chat message that we've ever sent the only chat messages they have access to are the ones that have been reported and the ones that have been like five minutes up to the ones that have been reported so therefore they can see what ones have been reported and some context around what happened right before that abusive chat message to see if maybe someone was provoked unfairly or if actually they have been just abusing the person the entire time. Um, so I think you can't really say this is about Moj uh, Microsoft spying on us. I think this is more about Microsoft trying to make um, a better environment for kids. Now on that note, talking about kids. A lot of people will say, well, Minecraft isn't a kid's game, therefore I should be able to say whatever I want online. Um, first off, you assume that the only people that can get abused are kids, um, which is a debatable thing at best. But also, at the same time, just because the average player base of Java Edition is like 24 years old, I think that's what I heard, don't quote me on that, just because most Java Edition players are adults doesn't mean that kids still don't play it. Because I think a lot of kids play Minecraft and it's E-rated. You have to remember that too. Just because most people that play it are adults, right? You could have most people that watch Sesame Street are adults. It's still a kid's show. Whether or not kids actually watch it, it's still made for kids. And the purpose was still for kids. So you just have to remember that when you're thinking about these features. Remember that this is a kid's game made not necessarily for kids, but for everyone, including kids. And therefore, you just have to be respectful. And you have to know that there are bad adults out there willing to abuse kids for whatever reason. I don't really understand why, but for whatever reason, there are mean people out there that are going to do evil things. And uh, they shouldn't be allowed to just go free reign. And uh, the biggest, I think, opposition with this idea is, well, it's hurting. Not only is it hurting the the bad people, it's also hurting the good people. It's also hurting us who don't mean any harm to anybody. But I would disagree. I don't think there's nothing um, that's harmful to any of us who aren't ever going to do anything bad. It's only the only way you could get banned or suspended is if someone reported a message and if the Mojang team of real people, not bots, um, you have to remember that it's a real team that they have set up for this. If that team determines that you are bannable or suspendable from online play, then that is the only situation in which you would get banned. So if you, and it said stuff like cursing and just being um, generally adult themed, well, not generally adult themed, but general, but like cursing bad language isn't gonna get you banned. Um, it's only like abuse and um, probably adult themes that will get you banned. So as long as you stay away from that in Minecraft, 
then you'll be fine. And so therefore it's not going to affect the majority of the player base. It's not, and uh, nobody, especially for people, like most people don't even play multiplayer unless they're playing with their friends. There's no reason for your friends to report you. And even if they did as like a joke, as long as you're not being super, super adult and super, super like there's, again, I'm, what I'm trying to say is the only way you could get banned is being abusive and you're not going to be abusive to your friends. And if you are, then you're just a horrible person. And I'm not sure why they've, they're still your friend. Um, so I don't really understand how just playing with your friends or being innocent like that could get you banned. So it doesn't affect 99% of people. In fact, 99.9, .9, I would say percent of people, basically everyone isn't even affected by these changes. The only people that are affected by these changes are the abusive adults. And uh, I just, I don't see why you would get angry if you're not one of those abusive adults. If you're the abusive adult, yeah, you hate this update. This update stinks for you because then you can't be an abusive d adult on Minecraft anymore. But if you're not, I don't know why the rest of us are all upset about this because it is legitimately, I think, not affecting most of us. Now, I'm sure you're all are screaming at me in the comment section, but please go watch my other video, everything bad about player chat reporting before you start yelling at me in the comments. Then you can yell at me in the comments all you want. But before then, please i'm just trying to give the idea of everything good about it i don't necessarily agree with all of the things i'm saying i'm just trying to give all the opinions the next argument for everything good about player chat reporting is the fact that um, minecraft is not the main way people express their beliefs and ideas and also mojang have stated that you're not going to get banned for like you know expressing your belief you're not going to get banned because of any religious or political idea unless maybe you're being super like racist or super like very hateful about it as long as you're not being hateful about it then you're not gonna get banned for any opinions um but at the same time even if you did now that would be bad and that would be at least some sort of encroachment on freedom of speech but even if that was how it worked it would still not quite be um, a restriction of freedom of speech because Minecraft was only ever meant to be a game it wasn't meant to be your life and I know especially since 2020 COVID you know, everybody was locked in their houses. They didn't have a life. They only played video games. But now that we're back in the normal world, for the most part, I realize there are still some people on lockdown. For the most part, everyone is back in their normal world, living their normal lives. I'm not sure that Minecraft is the way we express ourselves. I'm not sure Minecraft is the way. Minecraft was never meant to be the way you express yourself or the way that you, you know, share your opinions or beliefs. The, like there are social media platforms that are meant to do that. But I do not think Minecraft is one of them. Minecraft is only ever meant to be a fun game to play single player or to play with your friends, maybe to chat with your friends some, but mainly it's meant to be a video game, not a social media platform, not a messaging platform. It was only ever meant to be played for fun, not actually to be used for um, social interactions. Not to say that you can't have social interactions on Minecraft, but that is not its main purpose. Its main purpose in life, like when Notch and Jeb sat down to make Minecraft, they weren't like, we're going to make this game just so that people can talk to each other. No, they were like, we just want to make a fun game for people to play. Um, so you have to just remember, they're not, it's not like Microsoft is now stealing our only means of freedom of speech. Like there's still the entire internet out there. We've only, and it's not like we've been restricted by all means. We have, if they're restricting like, you know, political opinions, just be like if you got banned for using political opinions or religious beliefs um, just because you stated some of those when playing Minecraft, that would be horrible. And that would be um, a very bad feature, but that's not what's happening. But even if it was what's happening, it wouldn't be the end of the world because Minecraft is not the main form of expressing beliefs. So I think the main thing I would want everyone to get out of this video is just, I know, you know, there's the whole hashtag save Minecraft. This isn't the game we've always known. It is most definitely the same game as it was before. The only thing that has changed is the fact that you could theoretically get banned from multiplayer play. Multiplayer play is, I don't think, the dominant... Well, I mean, a lot of people definitely play multiplayer, but at the same time, the classic game of Minecraft is actually single player. Multiplayer was added way after the, you know, betas and all that good stuff. Um, and also, not only is multiplayer not the main form it is definitely a very very big part of minecraft do not get me wrong but it isn't the main part of minecraft um and so people saying this isn't the game that i grew up with this isn't they're changing the game so much like 
You didn't say that when the Nether update came out. The Nether update definitely changed a dimension that we had all known and grown familiar with, and it is unrecognizable now, or not unrecognizable, but very, very different. No one complained about that. And they were complaining about this one, and so it just kind of makes you think, Minecraft has changed since we were all kids. Minecraft is not the same game that we all played when we were five years old. But at the same time, that's okay, because updates are meant to happen. The game is meant to change. The whole point of updates is to make the game better, and you can always play on older game versions, but Minecraft is meant to be changing. Now, of course, there will be bad updates, and there have been bad updates, and there will be bad updates in the future, but I don't think this is one of them. I don't think this is one of the bad updates that changes Minecraft, ruins Minecraft for everyone, forever. Because there's just, it's the same game. You can still play Minecraft and 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to be affected by this change. The only people that are going to be affected by the change are the people that should be affected by this change. And uh, therefore you shouldn't, I don't know why everyone is so mad, so upset about this feature that is ruining the game we've all loved because it's not it's not changing if you play single player you have no right to be saying anything because this is the same game you have nothing has changed for you if you're playing multiplayer just with your friends nothing has changed for you unless you have really 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 jerk friends who are somehow able to manipulate the context even with the measures mojang has put in um to prevent that if but in that case like why are you playing with such bad people anyways that's that's a bit too personal, I think. Mm -hmm. But generally, I don't know why everyone is so upset. Hashtag save Minecraft. This game is being ruined forever. It's not. No one is... This isn't changing anything about Minecraft except the chatting features. But the, like, the preview chat, that thing is super cool. You get to, you get to see what you're chatting before it actually gets chatted. You get to look over typos and stuff like that. Um, and I wouldn't also worry about servers like 2B2T, like Anarchy servers, where the, you know, chat is horrifically bad in there. Because there are certain servers that have, have told Mojang, like, look, bad stuff happens here. And you get a little toast pop-up saying, hey, look, before you join the server, remember, bad stuff happens on the server. And Mojang, Microsoft, is not really responsible for any of this stuff, you know, all that legal junk. Um, so, generally... That's all the same. Nothing is really changing. There is no scenario unless you're an abusive adult abusing children where this this change would majorly affect you and ruin Minecraft for you. Um, but if you're one of those people, like, you're that's horrible. You deserve to get banned. I'm not trying to be, you know, rude, but, but you do. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say on this subject. Go ahead and check out my everything bad about player chat reporting, which will probably pose some of the other things remember this is not my entire opinion on player chat reporting this is only part of it the other half of my opinion is found on the other video so haha ha, i get twice the ad revenue goodbye see you in the next one thanks for watching